Well, hello everyone, it's Rose and I am back. Today, I am unboxing the first of my um, AliExpress 1111 deliveries. So this one here is from Cuff W Key and it's um, one of two packages that they sent because uh, the total weight was more than two kilograms. And so they had to split it up. So I don't know which ones are in here, but we're gonna find out at least one of the ones that's in here right now. Now what I expect is that they put three in one box and two in another. Uh, the other box uh, I don't think is in Canada yet. So, um, so I'm not sure when I'll be doing an unboxing on that one. I'm making a mess here with all this plastic. Oh well, all right. Okay, so it looks, as you see, it's very well packaged. It's got uh, the plastic wrapping on it, and then it's all taped all the way around. So I think I'm going to have to cut some more. Um, so yes, so I ordered these on, uh, November, on uh, November 11th, and they were shipped on November 12th. Oh, yeah, 12th. All five of them are shipped on the 12th. This one arrived on November 24th. Today is November 25th. So the time that it took is uh, very, very acceptable. All right, there we go. So this is just a plain box. Uh, I don't think I'm used to getting plain boxes from Cuff W Key, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so the end got a little bit crunched. It doesn't matter if the box is plain or, you know, got lots of pretty designs and stuff. Uh, it's what's inside the box that's important. So it looks like I've got two kits here. So I'll, um, I'll show you those in just a moment. But that's what we see inside the box. So there's a little tiny bit of crunching here, but it's just the edge of the diamond painting. So I'm not concerned about that. And then I see drills. Okay, so I'm just shaking this box and I don't want it to fall on my coffee table and break it. I am quite partial to this coffee table. So I, uh, I just want to be particularly careful as I remove the goodies from the box. All right, nothing else in the box. So that's garbage. And here's the second bag of drills. Uh, let's see where am I going to put that there? Okay. So I'm just going to take. Uh, oh, let's see. Oh, all right. I am super excited about the second one here. So I'm going to take the second one out, and that's going to be the one that I open first. Uh, so I'm just going to set this one out of harm's way and I'll just show you one of the kits. So there was an unfortunate little accident with the bag, but we didn't lose anything, so that's good. So it's got the um, bet nose tweezers, it's got a few little baggies, it's got my plain drill pen and it's got an open-ended uh, green tray which is fine. All right, so I'm quite satisfied with this um, toolkit. It's very standard. All right, and then we've got the uh, drills. So if you take a look at those drills, they're a little bit more muted in color than what I would normally go for, but the image, I saw this image Somebody posted um, a partial completion of their diamond painting on Reddit, the diamond painting subreddit, and I fell in love and I had to have it. So I went looking for it and I found it. I was actually going to have it made up as a custom, but then I realized I didn't have to because uh, Cuff W Key has it. So yeah, so there you go. Beautiful elephant. Um, Reminds me of the time of the Maharajas and so forth. So I don't know. I just, I loved it. So this one is supposed to be 60 by 45. That's the same size as the uh, the person on Reddit was working on. 
And so um, it looked really good on Reddit. So I'm, uh, I'm expecting it to look really good here too. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, oh, look at this. Oh, that's, okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. So I think when they were jamming, no, this is on the outside. The drills were on the inside. Okay, so this was a, a shipping thing. Because you see how this is all crunched here? Uh, so in shipping it got a little bit crunched. And that caused a little tear in the paper here. Now, the adhesive is still a little bit sticky. So I'm not going to fuss about that too much. I know some people would get all upset. I'm not going to fuss about that. Um, besides which, one of the things that I bought during the 11.11 sale was a roll of a uh, half inch, I think it's half inch, might be half centimeter, um, drill, uh, like a, adhesive, like this kind of uh, double-sided adhesive. And the reason I bought it was because I wanted to be able to make borders for my diamond paintings so that I could... Um, stick uh, drills along the edges to make um, my own kind of border um, but it also will help to doctor up diamond paintings so all that to say I'm not going to be fussed about this let's see if I can get it all yeah I can get it all in okay I can get it all in but I do want to turn the camera so just a moment Okay, so now the camera is oriented uh, the same way as the diamond painting, which will mean you guys don't have to turn your heads. Okay, so let's pull back the paper so that you can see this lovely elephant. Oh, first I'm going to just do this side. So the adhesive extends a little bit beyond the edge of the, can of the uh, drill area. I'm not going to fuss about that. I'll lay down some clear tape or, well, yeah, I'll lay down some clear tape. That's what I've been using lately instead of washi tape. Maybe I'll lay down washi tape just to use up my washi tape. Um, but I find I like the effect of clear tape best. Okay. So let's pull this back. And I will tell you about this diamond painting. So I call this elephant tapestry and um, it's a square drill let's just make sure yep square drills and it is as I mentioned uh, 40 by uh, 45 by 60 um, I don't have American prices for this so I paid $35.89 Canadian but then after all the discounts for 11.11 and all of my seller coupons and store coupons and AliExpress Select coupons, I ended up uh, paying $29.98. So I saved $5, essentially, which I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm very happy with that. I would have paid more for this. Well, I would have paid the full price for this if I hadn't uh, bought it during the sale, and I would have been happy about doing so because I just love this image. So, there we go. Well, the adhesive certainly is sticky. There we go. All right, now let me take this second piece off and we'll show you this beautiful thing. Look at that. Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? I think it is. Um, I'm going to zero in a little bit more so that you can see that better. Yeah. I love this. The only thing I didn't love about it is the chains on the elephant's feet, but it's not like I'm advocating for chained animals. Um, this is sort of a snapshot in, in time. And, uh, 
and it is what it is and it looks I mean it is just a beautiful beautiful tapestry and uh, and I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be fun to do um, yeah I think it's gonna be great to do so let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more yeah so you can see a little bit more closely the detail in the column tops and in the uh, whatever I, I don't know this thing here um, I don't know what you call that it's not a blanket it's kind of a, it's not a carpet but it looks like a magic carpet doesn't it anyway stunning so now I'm going to take you out of the holder we're gonna take a look at the drill field and then because the um, legend is over here and it's right now covered by paper we'll show you the legend afterwards so just a moment. Let's get down close. So let's zoom in on the apple that the elephant is holding in its trunk. Look at that. Those symbols are so clear. I do love Cuff W key. Yeah, they are such a pleasure to work on. And then we're getting down now to the tapestry, like the, the, the border of the tapestry. And again, there's just so much detail to it. It's gonna be really nice. So here we're starting to see the the cover on the elephant's back, whatever it is, whatever it's technically called. And you can see the fringe there. That's going to look really, really nice. The fringe on its, uh, like leading back to its tail. Look at that. I guess they're called tassels. Yeah, I think this is going to be beautiful. And there's some color blocking going on here, but there is a lot of um, confetti, which is what I like. Okay, so I'm going to put you back in the holder. There we go. And I'm gonna close this up. The next thing you know, we'll be looking at the legend. Sure. Yeah, see it didn't it didn't uh, destroy the canvas at all at the back. It's just the top here that's a little bit uh, torn. And it's just a little tiny tear. That's not gonna have any bad effect on anything. So there we go. Perfect. Alright, let me show you now. The legend. So again, there's the thumbnail. I already got a cat hair in there. Um, so we've got the, the, the right and left uh, parentheses here. Um, that's not going to be a problem. So the way I work on these is I will start working here and I'll do uh, three, three or four inch swaths. So I'll get about this much of the diamond painting done. And then that essentially takes the worked part of my diamond painting to the edge of my table. I never want my drills to hang over the edge of my workspace. So at that point, I whip this thing around and I start working this way and pushing it up the table. So um, so some of these symbols will be upside down at, at uh, different points. And, um, and sometimes when the colors are very similar, that's a problem, but these are not very similar. So yeah, okay, so let's take a look at the rest. Mostly numbers, letters. Now I hope they don't have an S because they have this dollar sign. And the bar through it is quite thin. So 
I am really hoping that they don't have an S as well because that would be confusing. And they don't. Uh, let's see. So here they have a plus sign and there's a, a right or a left facing bracket, a less than sign. Yeah, okay. It's all good. I'm good with that. Uh that set of symbols. All right, so now we're ready to do inventory. So I'm gonna readjust the camera once more and we're gonna do our inventory together. Okay, now before I do inventory, I just want to uh, measure the diamond painting. So, now I'm measuring the drill area only, which I can see through the painting. So it is exactly 45. And it is 59.8. So that's close enough to 60 for me. Now I've pre-labeled a bunch of labels. Um, so this is, okay, it's 60 wide by 45 high and it's square. And so now, uh, instead of using marker on, on my canvases, I'm going to start uh, just putting stickers on them. Um, there we go. All right. All right, so now back down. No loose drills in the package, so that's good. And here we have the inventory sheet. Uh, I don't know how many colors there are, so let's just do a quick count, shall we? I think it's 39. I'm going to count those again. So there are 40 colors. Okay, so let's start doing the inventory. Three, okay, so 352, uh, I should have 18 of them. Now 18 gives me uh, 3,600 at least, and I need 3,401. So Cuff W key generally gives way more than necessary. So uh, let's see what I've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, that's good enough. That's all I need, 352. All right, so I'll we'll mark it on this side. There we go. And I'm not gonna put you through me counting everything. I'm going to fast forward through, I'm going to do a time lapse of the rest of this. Okay, so I know a lot of you are always interested in the history of the pieces that I unbox. And so I wanted to find what is the history and what is the meaning of elephant tapestries. So here is something that I found online. As a symbol, the elephant represents royalty, power, wisdom, fertility, longevity, and more. In Hinduism, the most widely worshipped Hindu god deity is Lord Ganesha, the elephant god. He represents perfect wisdom, remover of obstacles, and a bestower of prosperity. When associated with the Buddha, the meaning of an elephant conveys compassion, truth, peace, love, and kindness. It is often considered sacred and symbolizes royalty in Thailand and Burma, where it is also considered a symbol of good luck. So, if you need some of it in your life or want to have a piece of art with a meaning, this type of tapestry is perfect for you.
there were two colors, 310 and 676, that they sent me doubles of. Um, and there was one color, 3778, that they sent me extras of. Uh, and other than that, as we're going down looking at the dots, looks like I got everything that I am supposed to have received. So I'm happy with this. So that's it. That is the um, Elephant Tapestry. This is my 239th diamond painting. It is from Cuff W Key. It's 60 by 45 square. And I love it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you will come back and visit with me again. Uh, I want to thank all of my patrons. Their names scrolled through the uh, time lapse part. And I want to um, thank all of my viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much. You're going to see a lot more videos of unboxings from the 11.11 sale. Let me know what you think of this format. And because um, I've got a lot more to do. So uh, so I'd be interested in, in the format. Do you like the time lapse? Do you like uh, the full detail? All that stuff. Do you want to see something different? Anyway, thanks everybody. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.